Hello everybody and welcome back. Finally more Guardian Quest coming your way and this time we are going for next realm run and we'll be playing on the better branch because they introduced new new class and this is available only now for the beta and it will be available uh, something around summer uh, for the re normal release. So we'll be playing this new class as a monk class and it will be fun. Hopefully we'll be getting a little bit further than before and hope you enjoy the time. So let's go to it. A new game. We will not be playing solo, we'll go for three characters. And I have three characters in mind. So first one will be the new character Strout. And we will go for what exactly? Not Monk. Uh, I briefly look one on his cards just to have something in mind. And I will go for Martial Art Artist as a dexterity build. So let's go for, yeah, Martial Artist. So that's, that will be our first character, Stroud. Second one is our MVP from another playthrough and that will be Pierre and Pierre this time will not go for Conjurer for Dexterity but I will try to go for something like uh, Ice and Intelligence build. We'll see how it goes but we will start with Evoker, Ice Nova, Ice Shard and this kind of stuff. So let's go for Pierre as MVP and the third character will be Catherine and Catherine will not go uh, for a uh, cleric that's what we run uh, for uh, our campaign but we will go for enforcer yes we'll go for strength build he, she will be our warrior she'll be in the midst of the battle and hopefully she will protect those two uh, and they will do some damage so this is our new party I'm looking forward on a new character so that will be fine and uh, I, I picked those three uh, artifacts because I don't have much here because we are on the battle branch uh, because the new hero haven't reached or normal build so we are on the battle branch and I don't have here much resources 16, uh, 16 artifact found and not much uh, place to place them so yeah we'll go for these three bosses have 10 uh, percent less HP which is super good uh, heroes start with a respect point so we can go potentially have another great spell in our deck and the third one well yeah game two supplies every seven days that could be awesome for our um yeah for our supplies right so yeah this is our thing and let's go to it because we are going for torment again and hopefully we'll reach a little bit further than uh before so Ooh, first Maelstrom Gate. And we all going where exactly? I don't know. Contains two real bosses to pick from. Okay. Area contains quicksand. Area contains cacti. And no safe passage nodes. Contains two real bosses to pick from. Party has uh, minus two penalty for, for challenge rolls. Area contains cacti and no camping site. Maybe this one. Roads have higher chance to be difficult to cross. Party is physical resistance, burning ground, no merchant. Yeah, I will go with this one. Length 12, so we will get more experience, and I think it, it's a good one. Let's go for it, and hopefully it will be fine. So, we reached the first realm, and we are trying to go here. Oh, we have two bosses. And we will see what boss will be the one. So, we need what exactly? Merchant? Nope. That's not where we are going. We can go for this one. Oh my god. That's kind of a lot. What the hell? That's kind of more than I would like to have as a first encounter. What about this one? Elite. Increase XP earned. That's fantastic. And this one is supplies and maximum. We'll get nothing from this. That sucks. What about this one? When we go with this, we can go down here and maybe for encounter here. That would be nice. And yeah. And maybe then for another elite. Huh. We'll see. So, but first, let's go to this fight. I think that's the best option what we hear, what we have right now. 
Hopefully, we will survive the first encounter. So, I need to learn how this character works exactly, so let's go to that. And uh, we have to move with Pierre. That's the one thing we need to do. And uh, let's go back to Str Stroud. Stroud is his name. So, deal 9 damage, gain agility charge. An agility charge is reduced the cost of move skills and can be consumed for other effects. And combination strike deals 7 damage and plus 4 for each combination strike used this turn. An impulse agility charge will reduce the AP cost of this skill. So, when I will go with this one. Yeah. yeah, it's for zero. I will go for combination strike. I will go for another one. Should be much stronger and then I can go for dodge. And now I will get two damage. It is what it is. So, next turn. Six guard. So, five guards and armor. Hopefully armor will now work. Guard is not reduced for the next one hit reduce by one each time you take damage oh so in the last playthrough i made it wrong i need block all the time but the block will not be reduced ah okay now i get it that was on me okay and we can go for two uh, and this is kind of a lot of damage but i will get two damage as well let's go for it Okay, okay, so first one, you need to move, another one, this is random, right, 7 damage, deal 5 more damage every time magic missiles plays this turn, okay, so no, uh, gain uh, 4 critical, gain 1 channel for every 3 shock on enemies, so we will not use that very much, so... We need to kill this one. So bang. And go for this one. Give him some chill. And um, yeah. Oh, we have... Uh, why we moved, I don't know. Because we killed the archer. So we will not be hit by him. So that was a useless move. So now, what's going on? All units the same round. Gain 16 guard. 7 damage for Catherine. Good. And 6 damage for uh, Stroud here. We'll do some damage, so gain 4 guard, discard up to 3, gain 4 guard for every dex card discarded, okay. No, we are not going there. Let's go like this, and this, and we can finish this off. Let's do it, we good. You, Catherine, going for you 7 damage. Target gains 1 might, target gains critical. That's perfect, but it's not that perfect. We need to block. That's what we need to do. So let's do it first. And when we do this one, we can't go all that. Okay, so let's go with this one. Okay. So. Can we discard to two random spell cards? Gain channel for every card discarded. That's not what we need. Let's go with this guy because we need to like kill someone right to reduce the numbers and I can't use any of that for anyone else and do this we'll get to uh, two channel and maybe there is a channel spell in our basic deck, but I don't think so there is Okay we good now. 7 damage, otherwise they are protecting themselves with 56 armor. Oh my god, boy, you are crazy. So we need to move somewhere to do some damage. And I will for sure use shift for that. Otherwise I will not have anything to go for. Now we have 3... Hmm... We have 3... APs. I don't want to draw. Oh, we can move for zero. Oh, that's true. The agility can move us. Ah, so for future, I need to remember that. That was a mistake. So, uh, where we are. Seven damage against me, so you need to guard yourself. And press the attack. 
That was nice. And let's go and use the other one. So. Gain 3 channel. Apply root to self. That's not what we need. Let's spend this one to move again. It's... That's kind of stupid, but it is what it is. I want to use uh, those abilities. Deal 8 damage, apply 27 chill, which is fantastic. Oh, I will not apply chill through the armor. Hmm. It's some time I played last time. <laughs> so I will not do anything with this character until they are rid of the armor. Oh, yeah. In critical guy channel for every shock on enemies. I, I can use it, but it's like, eh, really? Don't need that, really. And I can go and do this one. Because I get the chill spell and it's going from a channel, so why not to go for that? So, 7 damage again. Self and allies behind. So, we have 3 agility stacks. So, I would love to get here. Yes. Please. Oh, and you are going against me. My bad. So. Combination. Okay. Again. And I have to gain 4 guard. Discover of 3. Gain three, 4 guards for every dex. So let's use it. Let's do it. 12. Good. We're good. So, let's move back. Alright. 7 damage go against me. So, that wasn't that great decision. Let's chip this armor. Energize. Don't need that. Magic missile, we can start with that. Okay, and... I got nothing to do. Oh my god, the armor is huge. Okay, he is going forward, which is fantastic. We need to do something about it. So, quick strike. We'll get agility. Now, combination. We have two, and let's go with the big damage. You. Uh, need to block six or four. I will, need to, I will need to use both of them. But he got no armor. Just fantastic. Finally, we can do some chill effects. Pulse. We should do it other way around. But that doesn't really matter for now. Okay. Mm. That sucks. We can't really go attack him. So, combination. We got two. So, bang, bang, quick stab, straight palm, give there. Okay, well, what do we have right now? Six damage against us, we got six, we got chain attack. That's really bad, because we can't go through. You need to do it, so... Uh, no. Magic. And he should be dead. He's not. Chill should be on turn, start, trigger, start, damage, deal 20% less damage. Huh. Okay. Hammer strike, 13. Oh, yeah. You down. Uh, Avenger, grow in power when ally is killed. That sucks. <laughs> I think now he will start attacking and we will be screwed. Let's go like this and go for 28. We are through the armor, which is fantastic. And now, please. Good. Finally. That one is good. That one, that was a great damage. So now, what are you doing? 40 in the line. Okay, so we will need to move. That's the perfect thing to do. We have two, so let's go like this. This, and then we can go back. Oh, no, okay. 
We have only six, so we will get hit. So we will not stand there and we will move out of the way. And Pierre, you need to do the same. But you will use the shift. So let's use the shift first. And now give him the ice. Ice and his baby. Bang. 14 damage in this line. So are we able to give him kill him this turn that that's the one i don't know about let's go like this empower and bye bye we got it first fight one eight okay oh jewel spanner rerolls all socket types will call us on an item wow i never seen this one that's new Interesting. What about here? So, dexterity based challenges intelligence. Okay. Increased dexterity by 5%. Strength based challenges. Okay, so I will take this one or this one. Mm. Dexterity or this one can be. Okay, I will take this one. You gain skill point. Okay, got it. So, you, first of all, equipment, you will get this glove, increase strength, you will get this glove. Can you, yes, for sure, we don't have any runes right now, but we have something to go for, right? We can give their combination strike and support it with something great. That will come later. Journal. And that's all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed the time here and we made some progress and the most uh, important thing is that we survived. And we will be continuing tomorrow, so stop by for the next episode. And as always, be kind, keep smile and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the day and see you tomorrow. Bye.